I'm so excited for you to be here because I am such a fan and have been such a great fan of so much of, of what you've done. And what we do here on our program is we have a construct called Celebrity True or False, where we ask questions about your work and you tell us what's been written or what's been said is true or false, if you don't mm -hmm. mind. Okay, and we have actually, this is, and hopefully you appreciate this production value. I think it's like a tentpole movie. Check it out right here. Here we go. Celebrity true or false. You can't handle the truth. That's it. That's all it is right there. What do you think, Arnold? What do you think of our production value right there? I don't even know how you can afford this stuff. I know that. <laughs> I mean, it's a business <laughs> that goes beyond uh, Spielberg and all of this <laughs> with genius. It's uh, Jim Cameron yeah, yeah. Uh, production. Yeah. I, mean, I agree. Like it, is a, it is a Cameron yeah. type production. Yeah, it's like it uh, Avatar and mm -hmm. uh, Jaws <laughs> it is. all together in one. I, mean, I appreciate like, No, I, you, and you, I, I know you appreciate the, the finest stuff, so I, I, that's why I wanted but to ask you. But how do you do it? <laughs> well, you know what? I, I, I just, you know, I just uh, take it one segment at a time, hope for the best, you know? That sort of thing. Uh, but uh, you must have a great vision. Oh, that's why I wear these glasses. And this is why I talk about it as a first chapter in the book. Have a vision. Mm. Oh. So you have that vision. I, guys, do I have vision? You, you, you have the vision. By the way, yeah. and, uh, but I'm not, I, these are not yes men, okay? No, they, no, they, no, they will no. tell me if I'm wrong. Oh, absolutely. They are yeah, yeah, very honest kind of people. I'm not surrounded by yeah. this. Yeah, good vision. Okay. Yeah. Arnold, Richard, uh, Rich also has the schmay going for him. Oh, good. You know, he's got the Good. schmay. That's it. Yeah, it That's I knew the... we were soul brothers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first up, celebrity true or false with Arnold Schwarzenegger in studio. All right, first up, true or false, Terminator producers originally wanted you to play the Kyle Reese role, and O.J. Simpson is the Terminator. Is that true? That's correct. So and, what? Um, and, and when they met me, they felt like, oh, I think that this guy will be better as Terminator because he looks much more believable as a killing machine. They thought that O.J. didn't look like a killing machine, and so they passed on him, and they asked me to play the Terminator. And then uh, the rest is history. The rest is history, exactly. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, yeah, but now, of course, everyone in the studio system denies that this ever happened. <laughs> you know, they say, no, no, I, I never wanted O.J., and I, I never, there was no discussion about that. But the Jim Cameron and I, we know, we both know. That that is a fact. What a what a what a huge moment I think in in obviously movie history right there. Uh, true or false? The original "I'll be back" line in the Terminator was written as "I'll come back," and you had to convince James Cameron to change it. Wrong. Okay. So the, Jim Cameron wrote "I'll be back," mm -hmm. and I said to him, I said, "I don't like the way I sound when I say I'll be back." I didn't quite understand the L thing. Okay. Uh, being German speaking. And uh, he said, well, just say the way it says, I'll be back. And I said, well, I'd rather say, I will be back. Mm -hmm. Sounds more machine-like. And he says, all right. He says, but I mean, are you the writer or am I the writer of the script? And he says, well, you're the writer. He says, well, then don't tell me how to fucking write. <laughs> He says, I don't tell you how to fucking act. He says, so, so let's, uh, let's just keep that going like that. He says, and just, mm -hmm. let's do 10 takes of I'll be back. And you pick the one that you like. And uh, that's the one that we do. And that's the one we, that we keep in the movie. And that's exactly what we did. But the interesting thing about it was, mm -hmm. no matter how much we argued about this, which we had daily kind of talks like that, um, it was a line that no one thought would be ever repeated again. Really? Because no, no, no one thought this is going to be one of those lines that people will repeat. And so when, when the movie came out, I remember I was in New York, and a guy came up to me uh, after the screening and says, Oh, Arnold, Arnold, I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, I love your bodybuilding career. Oh, uh, he says, Can you repeat the line, I'll be back? And I said, I'll be back. And he says, No, 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 the way you say it in the movie. <laughs> and then I said, uh, I'll be back. He says, yeah, 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 yeah. Says, oh, my God. And he ran off. I mean, like a crazy guy, right? And then it happened again and again and the next day again. And all of a sudden, I said to myself, wow, this is kind of weird. So I, I called Jim Cameron. I said, this I'll be back line. I said, I think he was so right. I said, because it wouldn't have been that cool if I would have said, I will be back, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, he said, no, I told it it would work. And he says, yeah, but it's going to be the most repeated line. I think in history, and then it has become really one of the most repeated lines. Yeah, and then just and who who knew that you were drilling down on what's the right thing to say, what's not, and that you were handling the most one of the most famous lines in the history yeah. of movies. 
Unbelievable. Wow. All right, uh, another one, true or false, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you originally disliked the Terminator 2 script because your character didn't kill anybody. Um, I loved the script. I just didn't like my character because I said to myself, wait a minute, are we now turning kind of liberal here? Mm-hmm. I see. What's going on here, politically speaking? I said that all of a sudden the Terminator becomes a softy uh, and all that. And, um, you know, politically correct uh, because maybe action movies are going out or violence and the movies goes out or something like that. So uh, there was all kinds of things that went through my mind. Is that what it was? And Do you no, think? Oh, okay. it was not at all. It was brilliant, brilliant writing by Jim Cameron because what he did was he put the twist in there that the Terminator comes back, but this time to protect, you know, uh, Sarah Connor and also her son. Um, and so I was the protector, and so the kid says to me, he says, but you can't go around killing people. And then he say, I say, I won't. And he says, you have to promise me. And I say, I swear I will not kill anyone. <laughs> and so, you know, so therefore I shoot people but I don't kill them. I shoot them in the knee. It's right away, literally like a, a minute, the, a second later, there's a scene where the guard comes out of the guardhouse and they just take the gun, boom, boom, and he falls down in front of us. He says, you told me that you're not going to do that. I said, uh, he will live. You know? <laughs> and then we move, we move on. So I really don't kill anybody. So I was kind of shocked in the beginning, but then when he explained it to me, I was all in and uh, brilliant, brilliant writing. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.